I think it helps people see a different side of cancer, a different side of mastectomy. Um, you know, there's the fearful side and then there's the, I'm not going to let this stop me side. I actually, I found the lump um, the week of my 35th birthday. You know, I don't have any genetic history in my family bloodline for breast cancer. So like any healthy 35 year old, I thought it was anything other than cancer. So about a month after that, I started chemo. There were moments, especially in the beginning, where the fear of it all was just so overwhelming that I, I got visions of my funeral service. And when I caught myself in that, um, in that thought, I, I just got out of it and I said, absolutely not. I'm like, what the heck are you doing? There are just too many good things around me. And I'm just choosing to be happy. I'm choosing joy. You know, I had already had my first chemo treatment and I knew that my hair would be falling out. And I said, no, the chemo is not taking my hair. I'm taking my hair, darn it. <laughs> so we had a, a, a shaving party. It was just a way to kind of grab cancer by the you know what and say, not not today, no. Nope. So um, on March 15th, I had a lumpectomy. After the lumpectomy, you know, they did a bunch of lab work on what they took and it was determined that they by no means got it all and that I would have to go in for the mastectomy. So I was just getting kind of nervous and then surgery day came. So my surgeon comes in the room and Nicole, my cousin, looks at the surgeon and says, so question of the day, can we have a dance party? And my surgeon immediately was like, yes, oh my gosh, absolutely. What do you want to do? And she pulls out her iPhone and she says, I'm going to get this song queued up for you. What song do you want? And I'm like, oh, wow. Um, I want to dance with somebody. You know, everybody's like, yes, absolutely. That's awesome. <laughs> I kind of thought everyone would just be, you know, standing in the back, letting me just kind of do my thing and, you know, let loose before surgery. And it was fantastic. Everyone in the room was moving and shaking and singing. I'm, I'm getting private messages from people who are going into the same surgery a week or two from now saying that I've given them hope to get through it and that everything's going to be okay. It's just incredible. If you're if you're hopeful and ex if you're expecting to come out of this well and recovered and cancer free, well, that's the attitude that you have to have. You have to assume that that's kind of where you're where you're heading and just, you know, act act with a full heart and a, a happy heart. Don't try to 